my name is Michael Turner and I'm a designer on NASCAR The Game Inside Line. My main responsibilities on NASCAR are interface and gameplay design, but for the past few months I've been working on the scenario challenges. The scenario challenges use real world data from the races. The GPS data gives us the exact position of each driver on the track at any point in time. So with this information we can then start to recreate races accurately. To use an example from the game, we have a scenario at Atlanta where we have to play as Jimmy Johnson. In real life, Jimmy Johnson was racing to catch up with Jeff Gordon and Jeff Gordon actually won the race. But by using the telemetry data, we can recreate this setting and put the player in Jimmy Johnson's shoes and allow the player to try and catch up to Jeff Gordon and beat him to the line. Now, in order to set up this scenario, like, we have to start considering like, what happened in the real life race and how it actually took part. So in real life, both drivers had gambled and they hadn't pitted. So the tires are extremely worn, they're sliding all over the place. So we have to try and recreate this in the actual telemetry event. So in the editor, we put the cars down under the, with the telemetry data. So they start in the exact same place they did in the race. And Jeff Gordon runs in telemetry, so he runs exactly the same lap as he did in the real life race. Another good example of scenario is a fuel saving one we have. The player has to play as Dale Earnhardt Jr. at Charlotte. And in real life, Dale Earnhardt ran out of fuel coming out of the final corner. So we put the player in Dale Earnhardt's shoes to try and get around the lap and finish the race with enough fuel to beat Kevin Harvick. Another part of the challenge is head-to-head -head mode. What this allows you to do is pick a driver and a track and then go race against them. When you get out onto the track, it'll be a bit like qualifying, so you run your outlap, and then when you cross the start-finish line, your chosen driver's ghost car appears, and then he runs the exact fastest lap he ran on that track in real life. Telemetry data has been used all over this game from improving the AI, remodeling the tracks, and obviously the scenarios in the head to head mode. It's been invaluable in helping create a better, more authentic NASCAR experience. So, to recap, the challenge mode has hundreds of head to head events. It's also got scenarios in 2011 and 2012, and this really is the closest you're going to get to racing with Jimmy Johnson or Dale Earnhardt on the track. Loads of effort has gone into making these challenges and I can't wait for the game to get out there and you guys to play these and have some fun.